Yo, what is good, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? Jay Barry here, and I'm back with another video here to talk about something I've been wanting PlayStation to do for a long time now, and that's to release an actual official PlayStation made Pro Controller. And during Gamescom, they snuck an announcement by us. I was truly, truly shocked here. Uh, to actually see this in the Gamescom, you know, uh, announcements and stuff like that, where PlayStation came out and they introduced the DualSense Edge Wireless Pro Controller. And right, right, right from the first time I seen it, it was love at first sight. <laughs> this controller looks amazing, man. It looks good. It keeps the DualSense look, but just looks a little bit more beefy and more pro-like uh, when it comes to... Uh, you know, just a you know a wireless controller. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really liking the look of the controller. I'm so happy that they actually announced and it's official now that they actually have a PlayStation branded Pro controller. And yeah, I'm 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 very happy with it, man. Some of the customization stuff I see is really really great. Like they have the whole uh, trigger adjusted adjust the uh, thing where you can adjust your triggers, similar to like most Pro controllers. So in the back of the controller, we're going to talk about the back here. We're going to talk about the back of the controller. Um, they have the the adjustments, the the, the trigger adjustable, you know, um, slots there, where you can pretty much like customize how you want the trigger to input to the travel distance of the input. So basically, what they're saying here is that in addition, uh, each trigger is adjustable with the options to tailor travel distance and dead zones to your preference. For example, you can manually reduce the travel distance um, of the triggers for faster input inputs in competitive SPS games or reduce the dead zones for precise throttle um, controller in racing games. This is always great. Like I, I love this stuff like from the from the Astros uh, to some of the scuff controllers some of the other pro controls i've had they always had that little you know adjusting uh you can adjust the 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 the, the actual input of the the trigger which is great um so yeah I'm, I'm loving the fact that they have that there you can have multiple customizable profiles that's always a great thing hopefully they have a app that is super intuitive and less easy to use um when it comes to that uh they also have the bat button the bat button we're going to talk about the bat button real quick man because at first, it, it looks a little bit weird to me where the back buttons are, the back paddles. Like, you know, I'm typically used to like a longer, like actual paddle. This looks like a button and the placement of it looks a little weird. It's something maybe I got to get used to. I'm not too sure, but we're going to we're going to see. We're going to see because the way how I hold a sense, I can see it making sense to have it there. You know, as I hold a sense in my hand right now. Um, but like I said, I, I have a lot of pro controllers. I use a lot of pro controllers and I always had that longer paddle, um, you know, at the bottom of like, uh, the controller. So we're definitely going to see how that is going to stand out or, you know, if I got to get used to something like that, because it does look like it's going to be a little bit weird. I like the fact that you can change all of the, the analog sticks, you know, when, 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 when it comes to, you know, just having a pro controller and what I like to have in my pro controllers. On the left side, I like to have that concave, you know, smaller, you know, um, analog stick. But on the right side, I go for like the longer domed um, analog stick. That always helps me with like aiming and especially if I'm doing any sniping stuff, it helps me with that as well. But to hear that you can actually customize all that stuff, you can pretty much swap them out, swap out the sticks, take out, put back the uh, analog stick. I'm all for that, man. So it sounds really good. And yeah, looking at the, the actual you know um trailer it looks it looks pretty good it looks pretty easy to do as well they also have like these resting zones for at the bottom of the analog stick we're going to see what that's what's that all about but um this controller it also is going to be feature rich so it's going to also have all of the dual sense features within the controller you know obviously when it comes to competitive stuff you turn off some of that stuff for those people that you know do that i'm one of those people that turn those things off but you're gonna have all those stuff so you're gonna have your haptic feedback your adaptive triggers the built-in microphone the motion controls all that stuff is going to be in there and they said it's going to come with a usb type c braided uh cable so that's also great so when i when i'm looking at all the stuff that i'm seeing here um, when it comes to this controller 
I'm thinking this is going to be like a $200 type controller. It's going to be pretty it's going to be pretty expensive in my opinion, which it should be. It's a pro controller. I think that's like around the base price of what these controllers would typically cost. But yeah, we'll we'll definitely see, but so far I'm loving the look of the controller. I think it looks amazing. And it's a day one for me. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you liking this controller? Is, the, is this something that you will get? Are you happy that PlayStation is actually doing their own official branded uh, and created pro controller? Yeah, let me know in the comment section below, man. But yeah, I'm hyped for this day one for me. Uh, I, I love controllers like this. I'm, 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 I have a lot of them. <laughs> so this is definitely a day one for me. This is something I've been waiting for PlayStation to do for the longest. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, man. It's your boy Jay Bari. I'm gone. Deuces. Hope you enjoy the video. Soviet dominance assured. 